I am uh, a Biblical Studies student at Africa International University and um, I work for Transformational Leadership in Africa. I'm also author of The Christian Vote. I wrote this book because um, I'm passionate about the Church of Christ and in the past election I realized that I was struggling to process some of the excitements in the season. Um, if you realize, for example, right now, our conversations are not so different from the conversations of the world. And um, I thought to myself, how are other Christians doing it uh, in this season? And so I thought to write this book, The Christian Vote, so that I can contribute to this conversation that believers are having in this season. How are they handling issues of tribe? How are they handling issues of the choices they make in this season in a way that will bring glory to God? The main idea, um, what I want to strongly communicate through this book is that our faith is an all life, whole life ordeal. I'm first a Christian before I'm a woman, I'm first a Christian before I'm a Luya or Kikuyu, I'm first a Christian before I'm Kenyan. And so our faith should inf influence every area of our lives and including our civic duty. The way we make our choices and talk at this time should reflect that we are believers. I cover seven main topics and those are um, why we should engage in politics and governance as believers. I cover what our role is. I cover um, the way we have compromised in the past and what we can do about it. Uh, the issue, the big issue of tribalism, the thing that is said that politics is a dirty game. And I also cover how we should react uh, to the results of the elections. And all this I do it from a biblical perspective. What I would like um, every believer to get from this book is that let's follow Christ all the way even to the ballot. Our decisions, our choices, our conversations and our conduct through this season should really reflect that we are believers. It should uh, bring glory to God and it should make a difference in our nation.